Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve if the mapped drive is disconnected after you rebooted your computer. Error that you're getting when you're attempting to connect back to your drive and you reset your computer. And then it's continuously disconnected. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first thing I'm going to recommend trying here would be to disable offline files from your system. So generally, a lot of people like to keep offline copies stored of the network version. But sometimes due to syncing issues, this might create an issue where the file, it's not updated when it reconnects back to the network. So we're just going to actually go and turn off offline file access just to see if that would resolve the problem. Uh, so we're going to start by opening up the start menu, type in control panel, best match to come back with control panel right above app. So go ahead and left click on that. You want to select the sync center and if you don't see that on here you might have to adjust your view by up at the top right to large icons and then select sync center. Select Manage Offline Files on the left side. And then there should be a button here that says Disable Offline Files. So if it says Enable, that means it's not even turned on, so you don't have to worry about it. But if it is a Disable Offline File button here instead, you want to go click on it to disable it. And then you would go restart your computer and see if that has resolved the problem. Something else you can try here once you've restarted and you're still having an issue for some reason, you go ahead and open up the Start menu. Type in Credential Manager, best result. Should come back with Credential Manager, like I said. Go ahead and open that up. Select Windows Credentials. And now underneath Generic Credentials, you want to go find a credential that's listed under here. That is synced to your network drive. And you want to go ahead and just click the little drop down here. Select Remove. Again, whichever one is applicable to your drive. Go ahead and select yes. You will need to go ahead and restart your computer at that point. And then once you have restarted your computer, you will have to go back into here and select add a generic credential. And at this point, you go ahead and enter back in the credential of your network location as you did when you first set up the drive. So it shouldn't be that difficult for you guys to figure that out. And that will obviously depend on, you know, your network credentials. So I don't know what your credentials are on your end. So I'm not going to really start trying to enter in random letters and numbers but you get the point you come back in here and enter it back in and pretty straightforward process guys like I think I demonstrated here do hope that I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye